Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around an Iron Bull FDP Series Deckover. This particular trailer shown is a 102 by 20 plus 5, 20 foot flat deck, 5 foot dovetail. It's a 14,000 pound GVW with two 7K Dexter axles. Let's take a walk around this trailer. We'll show you the uh, standard features. Everything you see on this particular unit, except maybe the spare tire mount. I don't believe the spare tire mount is standard. Everything else you see here would be a standard feature. Starting out up front, they do a real nice uh, adjustable coupler. It's a six hole. It's a cast coupler up front, not a stamped. Notice they do a nice job with the, uh, uh, the front coupler area. They integrate a heavy duty nose plate into the I-beam frame. 12K jack, little detail. I like my jacks up front on deck overs. I don't like having to crawl in underneath and reach out. We ask them to put ours up front here. It's generally far enough back for any uh, any truck. It'd be out of the way of a tailgate, but yet it's up front far enough that it makes it easy to get to. On this particular unit, you're gonna see a 10 inch high beam frame. We like this model because we have another manufacturer that does an eight inch beam. We have uh, another brand we sell that does 12 inch beam. This 10 inch beam's a nice heavy duty trailer, heavy duty enough for most anything a guy's legally gonna put on it. Um, Nice tweener trailer for us. They also put a chain tray up in the A-frame. Nice little touch through the tube headache rack. I believe that's a three by three tube. Give you a nice strong headache rack with handles on either side. Give you the integrated side step, all sealed beam LED lighting. Uh, notice they do a nice job gusset plating out the, uh, the tongue area, gusset on top center and then also on the bottom going back to the side these guys put a fair amount of tie downs on you've got a chain spool stake pocket rub rail and then also a d-ring so lots of tie downs uh, on their trailers also one thing i like about them they put a uh, tube side rail on it's a six inch tube side rail uh, some of your cheaper ones might put flat iron on like a rub rail or i've even seen angle iron uh, generally you're going to see channel there but Tube's gonna do a, a good job at resisting that torsional twisting, flexing load. 10 inch I beam mainframe, 16 inch on center, three inch structural channel cross members, not form steel. These are all structural channel uh, on the cross member. Notice they got a six inch channel bed cross member going across and then 10 inch beam going across the front. Wiring runs back in a sealed wire harness got clips holding it back to the frame heading on back the trailer some things you don't always see mid marker light it's also got dexter axles these are 7k dexters these have the new newer never adjusting brakes and the easy lube hubs uh, every homeowner can uh, service their own bearings you simply peel that black cap off with a flat bladed screwdriver or your fingers if it's warm enough outside and you can grease the uh, zert on the end of your axle. It's also got the slipper spring suspension. It's a more durable suspension than your uh, eye to eye with equalizer. This also has a 235-80 R16 10 ply radial tire. Got your diamond plate over the wheel wells. Gives you a little lower clearance. Again, additional D-rings. This has a five foot self-cleaning dovetail. Generally, whenever you're gonna have a flip over ramp, it would be five foot. You're gonna have a corresponding five foot dove. Again, this one is self-cleaning. A couple things we like about the dovetail area, of course, it is a spring assisted ramp and it is a flip over ramp. Uh, they put some pockets in that. You can get a little more air flow through there, less wind resistance. Uh, a couple things, sometimes on the back bumper, you'll see them made out of angle, sometimes form steel, sometimes channel. This is made out of box. Again, it'll resist that torsional uh, load. A lot of stress in that area whenever you're loading something heavy. Also, it boxes in your wiring, keeps some of the critters out. Uh, another detail we see a little different on this. A lot of your uh, I-beam frames are gonna stop and this back dovetail normally is gonna be jigged separately and made out of a separate material. Normally a piece of form steel, a piece of Z-shaped Z steel. Uh, these guys take the I-beam the whole way back so you've got an i-beam frame 
that continues on back the trailer. Don't see much of that anymore. It used to be how most of them were made, but again, now normally the uh, the beaver tail is made out of a, a different type of material. So you'll see the I beam frame gusset plate coming out to the side. So again, 20 foot of flat deck on this, five foot of dovetail. You got your flip over ramps. A couple other things we like. They double up on the uh, stop turn tails. Don't need the outer marker. They've got a few extra lights on this. Generally across the back you'd see five. On this you see nine. So they throw a couple extra lights on. Uh, you don't also see uh, tread plate backers on the ramps very often. It's fairly, fairly rare. A couple other things you'll notice on the ramp. It's going to hook down underneath and be supported by that box tube bumper. Uh, they do make this in a 12-inch beam frame. As I was saying earlier, we currently don't stock that. We stock it in this 10-inch beam. Uh, we've historically stocked 10-inch beam deck overs, and they've been heavy enough anything you can legally do on these uh, 14K GVW trailers. This is also offered in a gooseneck. Uh, we stock it in a 20 plus 5 gooseneck as well. You can also get it with the full width ramp upgrade. There are a few options for this unit, but as you see it here would be the most common way that it would be sold. If you have any questions, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. You can reach us at 717-220-4220. You can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.